What's going on, G-Shock Society? It's your boy, G-Dub. G-Shock Warrior. Three ones. Checking in. Sunday, June 16th. Just got home yesterday. Saturday, June 15th. <clears throat> From my trip to DR. That's how you know I'm still here. I mean, that's how much you know I love you guys. That's how you know how much I love you guys. I haven't even unpacked yet. I'd rather make a video for you guys than unpack. I'm going to unpack before this video. I mean, after this video. But as of right now, I'm watching the game. Baseball game. The basketball game ain't done tonight. We got to watch that too. As of right now, I'm just making a video. Came back from DR. Bought a couple presents for friends of mine. Let's see this. Like, like this right here. Y'all know about this? Y'all might want to get to know about that. Nothing beats the man can run. Puerto Rican rum comes close, but it's not quite the same. <sighs> Came home yesterday to a package from Crispy. <sighs> this was the box. He sent me some stuff. Some cleaning utensils. They're not really utensils. But they're something that help out a lot. And some stickers. LRG stickers. There's some on my wall. I guess I'll show them to you guys. Because I love you guys. They're not really my Oh my god. One. Two. There's two more. But I gave them to my brother. Because I'm a nice guy. Shock the world. Clothing option up beyond this point. Didn't have that yet. Close the door. Alright. Come over here. What was the package from Crispy G Dub? You ain't gonna show us? TCF has gone clothing. TCF, you don't notice. Digital quartz print, just like our watches. Illuminating the darkness since 2011. Everything is spelled correctly. I hate that when you get something custom made. And there's a typo somewhere. Got the C on the chest, you know, because I'm a captain. Me and Chris, we have one. Hopefully a whole team starts picking up on it. I'm not forcing it on them, but it'd be nice. They have their own. They can pick the color. They can pick the print color. But same design. Same concept. Crispy's is, well, maybe he'll show it to you guys. Mine is wearing red. As you can see. Show you out the back. G-Shock Warrior. Three ones. Birth year. Right there. Um, but yeah, hopefully the team can get whatever number they want. Name, whether it's Monty, Master, 4999, or if he wants to get Willie Licks. Either one works for me, I don't care. Chavo, you name it. But it'd be nice if we all ever met up one day, Soho or whatever, and we all had this on, got the whole jersey feel. Be like the teams together, you feel me? That'd be hot, wouldn't it? Yeah, buddy. But this is mine. Who knows, maybe we'll start designing like clothing and such. I heart my G-Shock, and like maybe we can help y'all scoop them. But this is really nice. I love the quality. Hanes hoodie. I'm pretty sure I didn't look, but pretty sure it was Hanes. Or like some common brand. See? I was in line. But, yeah. Two parts to this video. This is one. The least important part. Sorry, Chris. Love you and all, but this is the least important part. This next part is pretty big. Oh, wait. I forgot to show you. That looks pretty nice. Must admit. So, you know, if you see this combination somewhere, the streets, small, you know, whether I'm here at home in Allentown, up at school, at Soho, whether I'm in Jersey, if I'm on vacation in Ocean City, Maryland. I don't see, I don't care if you see this combination in L.A., if I'm ever in L.A. visiting Adrian. If you see this combination, show me some love. Maybe you'll end up in the video. That's Kevin. That's how it, and that's how it happened for him. All of a sudden, he's big and whatnot, helping G-Dub out, and he's in the Nigel signing video. So, show some love. A really nice dude. It's just lemonade, guys. Relax. I'm not sipping on anything. But here's the second part to the video.
you're big on YouTube, and you follow, you know, G-Shock reviewers around, you know the TCF really well, then you know this piece. This piece has been reviewed. This piece was made summer of 2012, last year, by the legend himself, T-Sip, for Guns. It was designed by Guns as his, like, self-promoting, you know, I don't even know how to put it, but, like, self-designed, it's kind of Guns' vision on a piece, you know, followed through by T-Sip's masterwork. <clears throat> well, this piece, thanks to a gift from a great friend, and when I say a gift, I legitimately mean a gift. This person was thanking me for everything I have done, will do for them. And they sent it to me on no charge. This was a gift. That's how close you see this movement gets us. We're family. All right? So, this was a gift. And this innovative piece, I call it innovative because obviously it has the double camo. Put the flashback on. Has a double camo, self beach colorway, which of course everybody knows was the hottest colorway around last summer. Um, yeah, got the tattoos on the background, on the backlight. This piece pretty much was a, one of the first times we saw custom backlights. You know now, it's a lot more common than it was back then. But, you know, this piece, like I said, if you know G-Shock and you know the movement, you know what this piece means. First time you saw this piece, it was like, you know, anything you ever thought of G-Shocks was just declared false. Just because you saw the two-tone camo, you saw the custom backlight, you saw the work on the tin. And it was pretty much a light shining on T-Sip's work. So, yeah. Like I said, this piece ended up as a gift on my lap. And you guys know how I, how I am. There's two kinds of pieces I really like. Yeah, I like my limiteds. I like my 6900s and whatnot. But the pieces that touch me are, you know, those meaningful pieces. Not those pieces that it's like, oh, I went to Macy's and I dropped so, you know, 200 for this collab because this collab is big. I like those pieces that, like, the movement, the idea is to shock the world, right? Well, the pieces that do it aren't your collabs because that's G-Shock doing it. That's not us shocking the world. It's for us to shock the world, not for the company. If the company does it, then it doesn't really count because they're doing it for us. You know what I'm trying to say? So, this piece is right there with this piece in my eyes. Why? Because this is the piece, Danny Handsome, who's, you know, the godfather of G-Shocks. This was a piece he designed for G-Dub. Such a big, like, I don't want to, you know, toot my horn. But, you know, G-Dub tries to be an innovative, creative, you know, like, ambassador of the G-Shock movement. Trying to bring it all to you guys. See what goes on in this movement. This was a piece Danny Handsome made for a friend. This was a special piece. There's no other piece like this out there. You know, it's simple, yes, but the meaning, the idea, and every little touch Danny Handsome put on it was Danny Handsome's work going to a gift, going into a gift for a friend. Same thing with this piece right here. This piece isn't just a custom. This was this piece isn't just a T-sip, you know type work, even though all of T-Sip's work is illustrious, of course, I must admit. But this was a piece, not only did it innovate, because you, you brought the custom backlight into the into effect for a lot of you guys that didn't know that was possible, but it also, this was a piece designed by Guns, designed by, I mean, put together by Sip, as of, like, Unity, 
This piece shows unity. This piece shows Guns putting his ideas, his imagination into a concept and having a person like T-Sip, who's the best of the best when it comes down to it, put it all together. And that's what this piece is. This is the piece T-Sip made for guns. That's it. You can name it that. Just like you can name this the piece Danny Handsome. You know, when you refer to this piece, what do you refer to it as? Oh, that, you know, blue 5600 that G-Dub has? No, this was the piece Danny Handsome, a custom Danny Handsome made for G-Dub. This was the piece T-Sip made for guns. Those pieces that show unity. Those pieces that show my ideas and his work or Guns' ideas and T-Sip's work can be put together and show unity. That's how you shock the world. You can walk around wearing any of these watches and they've been seen before. Those two. <laughs> they've been seen before. You haven't seen this somewhere else. You can ask T-Sip to make another one and by all means T-Sip can make another one. But this is the piece with this backlight that was made to show that we are all family. And that's what I like. You know what I'm trying to say? The piece Danny made for G-Dub. I'm wearing the piece T-Sip made for Guns. If y'all get my message, y'all let me know. But that's pretty much why I feel this piece is so special. And I can't thank SJ enough for this. This was remarkable. I've never thought in a million years I'd come across this piece. Because I, the only time I thought I'd come across it was Guns wearing it. Why? Because Guns designed it. T-Sip made it. This was... This was Four guns by a sip. Okay. It ended up on me. So not only am I holding T-Sip's work and guns' design, I'm also holding, you know, the care and the consideration of another human being to give this to me. So this piece has a lot riding on it. And just like when I told Gun when Guns found out I had it, he goes and it touches another honorable wrist. This piece at some point was touched by Sip, wore by guns, held by SJ. Which means he um, displayed it in his case. And that was on me. So it's like, this piece has been around. You get me? And that's, that's just, there's no words to describe what this has done. Picture, I don't know. Picture a piece made by Tycho. What if a Tycho designed a piece or put together a piece for a friend of his? That was a piece Tycho made for him. And he ended up passing it to another person who's big in the G-Shock game. So it's like all these peoples in one shape or form affected this watch in one way or another. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say. And it's not over for this watch. This is over four. This watch is going through a little makeover. It's in my hands now. So we're going to put it to work. I'm not going to let y'all know what the hell I'm doing to it. But this watch is going to go through some intense... Um, not makeover, but... It's going to get revamped. It's going to get retouched. And I'll show you guys the after. But I'm not even going to get to wear this. I came home to see it. And it's going out tomorrow. And it'll be back in my hands soon. And y'all going to see exactly. We are about to shock the world yet again. With this watch right here. This little piece of resin. And metal. And plastic. Is going to help us shock the world. This piece will get worn this summer. A lot, but not yet. Still needs work. Your boy G does check it out. I'm back. I got y'all. Shout outs. Y'all already know who it is. I'm trying to avoid shout outs because they take up a bunch of time, even though I'm already going off 15 minutes in this video. But we got the hoodies. TCS TC going in. Look out for us. I'm letting you know now. Um, I don't even know what to call this piece yet. I'll wait till everything's done. I'll come with it. I'm out of number and whatnot. But that's an innovative piece showing that we are all one no matter where that we are in the world. So, yeah, your boy G-Dub's checking out. Shout out to AAA. Um, I'll follow your dreams. Chase them, guys. Peace.